Hey fellow learners, welcome back to another awesome video of Unlocking Skills. Yes, it's been a few weeks, but I hope you have been enjoying the series and picking up lots of new knowledge just like I have. So today I've got something really special for you, our second giveaway. Stick with me till the end of this video to find out how you can win some amazing prizes. So without further ado, let's get started. In our giveaway, this time, it is all about DevOps with databases. One lucky winner will grab a hard copy of the book DevOps for Databases and two others will score ebook copies of the same. If you are into DevOps and databases, you definitely want this valuable resource in your toolkit. Stay till the end of this video to know how you can win it for free. But before that, let us talk a bit about what do we know when we talk about DevOps with databases. So DevOps for databases involves applying DevOps principles and practices to database development, deployment, and management. The goal is to streamline the collaboration between development and operation teams, automate processes, and ensure a smooth and efficient delivery pipeline for databases changes and a lot of other things. So here are a few key aspects of implementing DevOps for databases. Number one, version control for database schema. Now you have to treat database schema as code and store it in a version control system like Git. Track changes to the database schema over time to time maintaining the version history. Number two, continuous integration CI for database. Now integrate database changes into the overall CI CD pipeline because that will automatically build and test database changes as part of the continuous integration process. Number three, automated testing. Now, implement automated tests for databases changes, including unit tests, integration tests, and the performance test. Ensure that the changes to the database do not introduce issues or any regressions. Number four, database deployment automation. Use automation tools to deploy database changes consistently across different environments. Ensure that the deployment process is repeatable and reliable. Number five, infrastructure as a code for database. Define the database infrastructure using code, which is IASC, to automate the provisioning of databases instances and configuration. IASC allows for versioning and consistency across different environments. Now, I know you're eager to find out how to join on this giveaway. So it's incredibly simple with just two straightforward rules to follow. Rule number one, make sure you're following me on three big platforms, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You can find easily the links in the comments below or in the pinned comment, or you can check the description box as well. Rule number two. Once you have done that, come back to this video and drop a comment explaining why you want this fantastic book. Don't forget to use the hashtag LogicOpsLab giveaway. But wait, there's more. You can earn bonus points by tagging me on LinkedIn with the same hashtag LogicOpsLab giveaway. It's a great way to show your enthusiasm and increase your chances of winning. Now mark your calendars, set your reminders, and make sure to participate in this giveaway. You have one week starting today to enter in this competition. I can't wait to see your responses and hear why would you want this incredible book. Remember, it's not just about winning, it's the knowledge that we share and we grow together. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Unlocking Skills. Best of luck to everyone entering this giveaway and stay tuned for more exciting content coming your way. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing and keep unlocking skills.